Ahead of that, Germany's interior minister says he wants to change legislation to tighten restrictions on foreign telecoms providers. Horst Seehofer's proposals would require companies to obtain security certification in Germany and to sign no spying agreements. Berlin is considering the changes as it decides whether to allow China's Huawei to take part in the development of its 5G network. The telecoms equipment manufacturer is accused of being too close to the Chinese government and military. Connecting the world at high speed. It's all in 5G and Chinese companies are dominating the market for the latest telecom technologies. Two of them, ZTE and competitor Huawei, are banned in the US but still hopeful to get into the EU market. The release of our 5G products is just waiting for telecom carriers to announce their commercial network and verification standards for their terminals. But it's become difficult for Huawei to sell goods these days. The company's close relationship to the Chinese government and military has brought up accusations of spying. China strongly denies these accusations. Neither the United States nor any of its allies have brought up any solid evidence that can prove Huawei poses a threat to their national security. Their reason is nothing more than the issue of China's national intelligence law. Indeed, there is no proof. But governments have become cautious. Germany is discussing tightening telecommunication laws and making Huawei sign a no-spy agreement. Poland is on the fence and under direct pressure from the U.S. to ban Huawei too. Uh, we've also made clear that if they make a certain set of decisions, uh, that it will be more difficult for the United States Department of Defense to work alongside of them. Pompeo made the same threat in Hungary and Slovakia. It could block Huawei from important markets and make it difficult for EU countries to bring their networks up to speed.